This is a set of Klipsch on-ear headphones that I bought about five years ago. And I like them, although I've got a couple problems with them. I kicked the cable uh, at one point and the uh, plug broke off. And then also the, the ear pads have gotten very worn. And I can't believe they don't sell replacement ear pads, but they don't. What I did was I, I could replace the entire cable, I could get another cable and splice it onto here, or I could get a new jack and put it on there. Um, what I've decided to do, or what I'm going to try to do, is replace the entire cable. So I got this cable uh, off of eBay. It costs less than four dollars, just a little bit less than four dollars. It came from China. It took about nine days to get it, and it has the uh, TRRS uh, plug on it. And it also, in their description, uh, said that it has those uh, the the ability to go backwards and forwards, and has the mic to work with uh, iPhone and iPad, which is. Uh, you know what my the original headphones has but you can see that it's not anywhere near as substantial as the original headphones the cable is much much thinner and the control thing is you know a lot smaller but anyway uh, that's what I got so I'm planning to substitute this cable for the old one and then I also got some replacement ear pads from a place called Scan sound. They have lots of different sizes. Uh, hopefully these, these will be the right size. But that's what I need to do. Okay, the first thing that has to happen is I have to take the ear pads off. And you'll see that there's a plastic piece of plastic and there are four screws that are holding that piece of plastic on. So and pull this side off too. See how it's, it's all crumbling. This really sucks. Anyway, I have this little handy uh, screwdriver. It's a Phillips screwdriver and it's very small, small enough to fit into these little holes. And I'm going to unscrew all these screws and see how tiny they are. I'm going to take those out and then take these plastic pieces off and I'm not going to, you know, bore, bore you with watching that whole process. Okay, this is what you find after you've uh, disconnected these plastic panels from the, the headphone. There's really nothing but a plastic shell here once you take this out. And the sides are look like they're identical, which means I shouldn't have to worry about right and left. Um, because if I get them wrong, I can just switch the these pieces between the different um, holders. Um, the tough part here is going to be <laughs> trying to figure out which wire goes where, because um, these wires are so tiny that I can really I can barely see them. I'm just in the process of pulling these wires off. I already took one off. This is pretty easy. The solder melts very quickly. And you just pop the wire off. These wires are really, really, really tiny. Uh, there's a couple more things I had to do to prepare for attaching these wires. Um, and one was to, you know, strip strip some of this uh, insulation off. 
and the other was uh, I'm going to have to take these little things off of the old cable and put the new cable through it like, like that because those will be uh, necessary for a good fit when I attach them to the uh, the earpiece, you know, casing. Okay, so I'm I'm I've never soldered anything before, <laughs> so this should be fun. Um, since there's a lot of solder on here already, I'm just gonna try to melt it and stick the wire in it. Well, that was pretty easy. This is the really amazing thing, and that's that these things work, and they work work the first time. Um, I thought I was going to have to try different combinations of these wires um, on here, but everything works. I'm going to play a little bit of something off of um, YouTube of my album, my Billion Dollar Pill album. I even uh, tested the pan on it so that I could label which was the right and which was the left. So I, I wrote that on the back of them. But you can see when I press the button here, I can make it stop. I've also tested the microphone and that works. So this is uh, an amazing success um, to be able to replace this cable with a four dollar cable from China and have it actually work. Okay, before going forward on this and putting the covers back on, you have to insert the cable into this little track here. And then that piece that you we put on there has got to come up and fits into this groove so that when it gets attached right here You know, it fits into this shell properly. And then um, I'm going to put this, I'll put the four screws back in here and I'll do the same thing on the other side. And uh, I won't make you watch that. Now we're on to the final phase. You can see I put the the plastic covers back on the earpieces um, and I even put one of the pads on. What you have to do is you have to take this uh, outer membrane, this outer rim and bend it back like this. Because what you want to do is get it on this earpiece and then get that membrane to go inside this this crack that goes around here. Anyway, that's the idea. And that's what I did here is I got this one on and I 
as you can see, um, it's still working good. Seems like you're at a it's one of my songs. It's called Strange Bird. Okay, I, I got the uh, both ear pads on. It's wonderful to have uh, saved a $150 pair of headphones from going into the landfill. So I hope this uh, video has been useful to you, and uh, if you like it, please press the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks.